Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to go over real quickly how you can use Microsoft Visio Professional 2013 to create a dependency diagram for the purpose of, of modeling your data structures. So we could start off by going to file and we're going to utilize one of the database templates which is the crow's foot database notation. We're going to create it and then when we get into our workspace here you could uh, keep your orientation if you or if you would rather switch it to a wider view because your dependency diagram may be a little bit more spread out. You can then come in and approach this a couple different ways. One of the easiest ways to, uh, to build your de dependency diagram using Visio would just be to use the rectangle tool and stretch out the blocks that will contain each attribute. And I'll do a quick copy and paste to gather several attributes and then rearrange them into a diagram format. Alright, so now what we have is we have our blocks and when we select each blocks in Visio, I can assign a specific uh, uh, attribute name. And for this one I could say, to get things going here, I'm going to build out the initial uh, dependency diagram. And this dependency diagram might be something that is um, at the final stage of normalization or it might be at the beginning of normalization. Often for the purpose of an exercise we lay out all the attributes so that we have uh, everything at hand in order to begin a normalization exercise. So I can continue to go through these. And so on. And the last one here, I'll just plug in these in. I'm referencing another document that I have handy here, in case you're wondering why I'm just randomly putting them in there. So now all of a sudden I have an element of a dependency diagram, and, and, then, and when, you have, when you have this type of diagram in front of you, you have to also indicate which attribute determines another attribute, or which attributes are dependent upon another attribute. To do that, you could actually go and use the connector tool, or you could use the relationship tool here. Now, since we're working with uh, the crow's foot notation, it, uh, by default, the crow's feet appears there. But say, for example, character trip or car trip determines car date or char date, however you like to pronounce it, tomato, tomato, right? I'm going to go ahead and snap this to this particular object, which could be a little, actually a little finicky at times. Grab it in there. And bring this around and we have that. Now that may not be the right thing we're trying to do with the dependency diagram. Dependency diagrams typically utilize an arrow notation and to change that notation end point on that particular connector I can go up to line, go to arrows, and then select my beginning or end point and there I have my arrow pointing over to that particular item. And then if I want to add another one I can copy and paste and begin to carry forward the rest of the dependency diagram. So it's fairly easy to do that and you start to have a nice professional looking dependency diagram. Since this is a Microsoft product and it works well with all the Microsoft products, I can also now select the diagram, and do a copy, open up Microsoft Word and paste it in there into a document if I need to build other um, clarification or description around it. So with that being said you can build out your dependency diagrams and if you need more space you could always add another tab and continue the normalization exercise if that's what you're doing uh, across multiple tabs as you get to your final normal form that you're working towards. I hope this helps. Have a great day.